Greetings, Slackers. September Man here, and I'm back with another article, and this is over on the Hill. And this is lawmakers seek answers from dating apps regarding privacy concerns, sex offenders, by Kaylin Deese. And it says here that a House subcommittee on Thursday launched an investigation into reports that several popular dating services and apps are failing to screen out underage users and then selling their data. The House Oversight and Reform Subcommittee on Economic and Consumer Policy sent letters to Bumble, Grinder, the Meat Group, and the Match Group, which owns Match.com, Tinder, and OkCupid, asking for information on their handling of the issue. According to recent reports, numerous dating apps fail to effectively screen out underage users, creating dangerous and inappropriate situations. Subcommittee Chair Rep. Raja Krishnamurthy wrote in the letters, This problem is exacerbated by policies that permit, and in some cases encourage, underage users to falsely claim that they are 18 years old in order to gain access to these apps. Most of the dating apps require that users are 18 years of age and verify that by linking to existing Facebook profiles or asking for identification. The letters also cite reports that platforms fail to screen out sex offenders on free versions of their apps. Protection from sexual predators should not be a luxury confined to paying customers, Krishna Murthy wrote. The letters also point to a recent report from a Norwegian Consumer Council alleging that several dating apps would share personal data and marketing partners without notifying users. The subcommittee requested information on users' ages, procedures for verifying ages, and complaints concerning assaults, rape, and the use of services by minors. Krishnamurthy requested that documents be produced by February 13. Match Group told The Hill in a statement that it uses every tool possible to keep minors off of the platform. But this is a broader internet problem and everyone needs to do their part, which is why we employ third-party app stores like Apple and Google who know exactly who is using these products to stop distributing them to minors and registered sex offenders, the company continued. Furthermore, the registered sex offender database needs to be updated so that a perpetrator's digital footprint can be tracked and blocked by our industry and all social media companies, particularly the ones that freely allow underage users on their platforms. Grinder, The Meat Group, and Bumble did not immediately respond to requests for comment from The Hill. I haven't really gotten too political on this channel. On my personal channel, I do delve a little bit more into politics. Politics is something you definitely, if you're not interested in it, I would encourage you to become interested in it because politics covers everything, including the relationships that we find ourselves in. And in learning about politics, you're going to learn about decision making and thought processes. These kinds of insights are useful. And one of the things that you should know about is what kind of policies are in the background governing your safety? You want someone to look out for you. Although, I will tell you, from a technical standpoint, I could imagine that it would be hard to screen and keep people off these platforms, especially minors. Everyone has a smartphone. That's one of the first things that parents get for their child is a smartphone. So they have a smartphone and they have internet access which basically gives them a new leash to the world but it's a world that it's not for everyone and it can definitely steer you in the wrong direction if you get caught up going down the wrong path now i say that to say this dating apps the platforms themselves are neutral they're just a place for people to come and meet one another there's really nothing you can do about the intent behind the users. Every site is going to have this problem. And when it comes to sex offenders, you know, how do you screen someone to keep them off of a platform other than through a legal measure? So far, I've heard of sex offenders being denied internet access or the ability to get on the internet 
uh, but that's only for so long. And the truth is, they could really access it from somewhere else and not from their place of residence. But regarding your privacy concerns and protection, you definitely would like Congress in on this. And one of the reasons why has to do with these dating apps selling your information, your personal data, you know, everything about you from your height, your likes, your interests. This is highly valuable information to people out there. And I'm going to leave it right there. So you can kick some of this around and share with me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I love talking about this stuff and especially anything going on to do with news and politics. This is a political year and what a good time to become uh, more political and up your political understanding. But that's going to do it for this article and this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Did you enjoy this video and find it informative? Subscribe to the Slackers Method and click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all the latest notifications for when I upload new videos.